There she is. Can make it through here. How's it going everybody? This video, we're doing a freestyle build or rather a rebuild, I guess you could say, uh, because I've had this quad for, I don't know, maybe like a year now. Uh, this was a pre-built from Rotor Riot and uh, it was great for about a year. And, uh, and then I started having issues. I'm not sure if it was the flight controller or the ESC, um, but basically when I would hit my arm switch, I'd have three motors spin up and one of them just didn't do anything. And when I disarm, I'd get the startup tone again, like the ESCs were out of sync or I don't know what was going on. Um, and I just ignored it for a while and I just disarm and rearm and then sometimes it would work and it flew fine. Uh, but the other day I had the same issue, armed it, took off. I flew for probably like 30 seconds and then mid flight, all I saw in my FPV feed was the drone just spinning out. And I just was like, well, something, <laughs> one of the motors stopped spinning, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I was not filming when that happened. So I don't have the crash footage, but yeah, basically it just spun out like one of the motors dropped out or something. Yeah, it was the T-Motor F7, the same one that's in my uh, seven inch uh, long range build, but I haven't had any issues with that one yet. So, um, so yeah, kind of a build slash rebuild. I'm not gonna go super in depth uh, on this. We're just gonna run through it real quick and go fly this thing, see how it does. So basically the only thing left in this quad is the frame and the O3 air unit that was originally in here. Everything else is getting replaced, flight stack, receiver, and the motors. So I ordered some new parts and the mail got here today. Let's go grab the package. There she is. All right, let's open this thing up and see what we got. Oh yeah, beautiful. Everything looks good. All right, all right, so here's the parts we got. We got a SpeedyB stack. This is the SpeedyB F405 V3. Um, all the reviews on this are pretty good. Ooh, this thing is looking good. And then for motors, I went with some cheap motors. These are uh, T-Motor Velox Velas. I don't know how to pronounce it. They have weird names for things. Anyway, T-Motor, um, kind of a weird shape on the outside of these things. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the rose gold, but like I said, they were just cheap motors. I think they were like 17 something dollars a piece. And then for the receiver, uh, I'm moving away from Crossfire. I had this, this drone was on Crossfire originally, and then I got the seven inch back here that I put on Express, and um, I'm moving everything to ELRS. This is a Sky Stars uh, ELRS receiver, diversity. So that's all the parts we got. So let's get into building this thing. Look at this fucking beautiful stack in here. So this is F405 and a 50 amp ESC, I believe. I'm no expert. I just know how to build drones and fly them and, and make videos and film stuff. So you're gonna watch it and hopefully you're gonna like it. And that's what I do. Um, so yeah, here's the, here's the motors. Let's get the ESC ready. I'm gonna um, tin all the motor pads and then probably get the XT60 on with the capacitor. All right, so we got our ESC done, um, power and ground. We got our XT60 on. These two leads here are for our capacitor. I know it's not good to have the capacitor far away through the wires like this, but I just don't have another option as far as my frame's concerned to mount this a different way. So I'm gonna have to mount the capacitor in the front of the stack on the frame. That's what these wires are for, but XT60's on. Let's get our motors on. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, these skids are like a perfect spacer so that your screws aren't going through and touching the motor windings. They don't look too bad, actually. The rose gold is actually looking pretty good. I'm liking it. 
Um, but now we need to um, measure and cut our motor wires. They're just gonna run flat on the arms. Always make sure you cut um, a little extra so you have some slack. So cut to uh, the drone is done. Um, I kind of skipped ahead, I guess you could say, meaning the drone is done being built. Uh, obviously it's just missing the top plate and mounting these and whatever else props. The reason I skipped ahead is because I had so much flipping issues with this thing, space wise, I guess you could say. So it's gonna be hard to see. The capacitor is stuffed right down here because there, there's no room back here for it. I mean, where is it gonna go? Before when I had this, the pre-built from uh, Rotorite, the ESC and flight controller were both turned and the two power wires came out the side straight up this way with the capacitor on there. There was just no way to have this whole stack turned. It just wasn't gonna work uh, wiring wise. Um, and the USB would be facing, it just, it wouldn't work. So whatever, I had a lot of issues. That and mounting our XT60 lead, again, right up against the O3, they're just, they're just not enough room. I already plugged it in uh, with the smoke stopper so that I made sure nothing blew up. So I already know it's not gonna blow up, but. Bingo, looking good. So now we just gotta do some beta flight stuff, um, receiver, bind it, all that stuff, and then we're gonna go fly it. So I'm gonna do all the computer stuff real quick and then we're gonna go fly this thing. All right, so we're here to test fly this thing. Just got finished up with the build. We have a diversity receiver. So you got one antenna up here, just zip tied up. And then this one I just taped to the bottom of the arm. I couldn't really figure out a good spot for it. So uh, it wouldn't really reach anywhere. Like I probably would have put it back here, but it didn't reach. So I just taped it to the arm, it'll work fine. Yeah, we'll see how this thing runs. Um, we're running a uh, 1500 milliamp hour battery, GoPro Hero 9, and I'll be running um, the hyper smooth stabilization on the GoPro, so. Okay, let's see. Oh, and we have a barometer on here, which is cool. Um, so without the GPS, I can still see my altitude and stuff. So that's always nice. Danger. All right, we're gonna record in the goggles as well. Let's see how this thing flies. so far. I could show you the goggle view too, because I have the hyper smooth on, so of course that footage isn't gonna show if there's any jitters, but I could show you the goggle footage. It's nice and smooth. Um, the tune I have on here is actually, I think it's a beta flight preset. It's the Superfly uh, freestyle preset. Touch the ground there a little bit. What a bit of a ground tap there. We are at 3.6 at two minutes. 3.6 volts, two minutes in.
pretty good. That was close. Yeah, it's flying really good. It's nice and smooth. Of course, Express LRS is great. Uh, I don't. I'm not worried about anything with the receiver end. Um, even even though it's a Sky Stars, and maybe that's not like a super great brand. Um, you know, they all use the same stuff because it's open source. So as long as they're not completely trash at building hardware or whatever, then it's it's all good. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's running great, nice and smooth, uh, plenty of power, even though we're, you know, almost dead here. We're at about a thousand milliamp hour, 1100, almost at four minutes here. Now we're coming down in voltage, I gotta land here. It's so like a four minute flight, not bad. Not bad. Total arm time was 355. Uh, 1100 milliamp hour is what it says we used out of a 1500 milliamp. I went with their settings for the um, calibrating the amp meter, so maybe it's a little off, but um, that's all right. I'll plug this in. All right, pack number two here. Danger. We are on and ready to go. All right. <laughs> Do like a cruise around the park. Oh, we can make it through there. I didn't know if there was a fence or something in between, so I kinda, last second, decided not to. But we can make it through here. Nice. Ooh. Okay, I really thought I was down right there. Backed out of that one too. I'm not good at orbits, but I can do them. See, this would be good, but there's a fence right there, so that's kind of sketch. I don't think I could even make it through that. And I could, but it'd be sketch. Oh, we got it. Woo! <laughs> that was a good one, we got it. Oh boy. Heck yeah, dude. That was pretty crazy. A little playground here. Don't mind if I'm leaning a bunch while I'm flying. That's uh, that's normal. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was kind of cool. All right, this battery is pretty much done here. We're at 3.5, 1100 milliamp. That was not a bad run, not too bad. Uh, the two batteries I've been running are these uh, Funfly, they're Tattoo Funfly, 1550 milliamp, whoa, if I can get it to focus on the battery and not me. And the other ones are Tattoo R-Line 1550s, I think, as well. So I, don't, I don't feel that one's necessarily better than the other, to be honest. They both fly pretty much the same. But then again, I'm no battery or drone expert, so what the hell do I know? With the five inch? With this new stack in here and these motors, honestly, it does great. They're nothing special. This is a really cheap stack. It was like $60. So, um, but I am impressed with the with the performance of it. No issues. I think it's an 8-bit ESC too, which I don't know what the difference between 32-bit and 8-bit is, but um, it, it does great. It doesn't feel any different than the T-motor stack that's in this one that was in this one, but I had issues with it after probably a lot of crashing and stuff. It just had an issue. This, the T-motor stack in this is still doing good, but for this being like a cheap stack, I don't feel any difference. It flies great, it performs great with, uh, with that preset tune that I was talking about, that Superfly uh, five inch freestyle tune. I think I lowered the master multiplier just a hair, um, but yeah, like it, it flies great, honestly, it's awesome. So I do, have a, I do have a new drone coming in. I bought a new drone, it's a bind and fly. So unfortunately for the people that like build videos, uh, I won't be doing a build video. I enjoy build videos myself. Um, they're a little stressful to make, but uh, but yeah, so I have a new drone coming in. Um, it should be here tomorrow, so I'll be making a video on that. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but I am excited about it. It's a really cool drone, but yeah, it's a bind and fly. So if you guys wanna see, um, see that drone, I'll have that video out pretty soon. So uh, yeah, subscribe if you liked the video. Um, hit the like button, that, that helps me out a lot. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.